Good afternoon, class. My name is James. Thank you for writing out name cards so that I know your names. Uh, today I'm going to give you a lesson on complaining. How to complain. Who's heard the word complain? Have you heard that word before? Yeah. Do, you, do you do it? No. No, good. <laughs> Sometimes you have to. That's good. So we're going to talk about complaining and the art of complaining today. And the first thing I'm going to show you is a video of a television show that I like a lot, some of you may have seen, and I think there may be some complaining and responding to a complaint going on in this video. So if we could cut the lights back there, I will run the video for you. Okay. Name, please. Uh, Seinfeld, uh, you made a reservation for a mid-size, and she's a small. <laughs> I'm kidding around, of course. Yes. Um, oh, can I see? Oh, I'm sorry, we have no mid-size available at the moment. I don't understand, I made a reservation. Do you have my reservation? Yes, we do. Unfortunately, we ran out of cars. But the reservation keeps the car here. That's why you have the reservation. Yes. I know why we have reservations. I don't think you do. <laughs> If you did, I'd have a car. <laughs> See, you know how to take the reservation, you just don't know how to hold the reservation. And that's really the most important part of the reservation, the holding. Anybody can just take it. Let me uh, speak with my supervisor. Uh, here we go. The supervisor. You know what she's saying over there? What? Hey, Marge, see those two people over there? They think I'm talking to you. So you pretend like you're talking to me. Okay, now you start talking. Oh, you mean like this, so it looks like I'm saying something, but I'm not really saying anything at all? <laughs> then you say something else, and they won't yell at me, because they thought I was checking with you. Okay, I think, I think that's enough. See you later. I'm sorry, my supervisor says there's nothing we can do. Yeah, it looked like you were in a real conversation over there. <laughs> but we do have a compact, if you would like that. Fine. All right. Well, we have a blue Ford Escort for you, Mr. Seinfeld. Would you like insurance? Yeah, you better give me the insurance, because I am going to beat the hell out of this. Seinfeld, <laughs> uh, you made a reservation for a midsize, and she's a small. enjoyed that, uh, that little video episode from a show called Seinfeld. I don't know if any of you have watched that before. It's on every night on television, about 10 o'clock you can watch episodes. So, I think that was a pretty good illustration of someone complaining about something, right? What was he complaining about? His reservation for what? A rental car. It was a rental car agency. He was complaining about that. And so, also as part of a complaining dialogue, someone needs to respond to the complaint. Okay, so the person would say, oh, I'm sorry, we don't have any cars. Well, you don't just walk away sometimes in a complaint. You would talk, maybe have a dialogue with them, well, why, what can you do for me? So it's very important the way you complain, the words you use as a complainer, and the words you might use if someone complained to you. Now, is com does complaining always happen at a business? Is that the only place a complaint would happen? Does anyone, I see I'm married, and my wife complains about me. She says, you left the dishes in the sink. Um, or, you didn't put your clothes in the laundry. So I get complaints too. And what do I say? I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Just like you would do it in business. So that's very important so when you're complaining about something that you use the language. That's important. You just don't go walk up to someone and go, you suck. I'm going to go someplace else. That doesn't help. It doesn't help them help you. It doesn't help you get what you want. Okay? So there are phrases. I gave you a, uh, I didn't give you yet. I'm going to give you a handout here that has phrases that you would use. You can see that first block when you're making a complaint. All right. Let's read some of those phrases together. So look at that first block that says language. 
phrases of complaining. And notice they're phrases that the person complaining were you, would use, and below that, a response. You see the, uh, the first one on the list? I'll read it for you. I'm sorry to bother you, but, oh, I left someone out. <laughs> Thank you, the teacher. I'm sorry to bother you, but uh, you stepped on my toe. Okay, there's always something that comes with that. Uh, I hate to have to say this, but I'm not going to be able to come, okay? Or you didn't deliver my stuff, all right? So let's read the rest of those together. We just stop at but. We'll imagine what would be there. How about the third one? Read along with me. I'm not sure how to put this, but, okay? How about the next one? There's something you could help me with. Okay, try that. Try that again. I want to hear you guys say that. There's something you could help me with. There's, There's something, something you could help me with. That sounded very good. Okay, how about the next one? Let me read it first, and then you read it back. I'm afraid I'm going to have to complain about. I'm afraid I'm going to have to complain about. Oh, you're doing really good with this. And um, how about this one? I'm sorry to say this, but. I'm sorry to say this, but. There's another one. I'm sorry, but I thought I asked for. I'm sorry, but I thought I asked for. And we got one more here, and you can see there's different ways you can go with these. Excuse me, but there appears to be something wrong with my. Excuse me, but there appears to be something wrong with my. Yeah, that's a little harder. There seems to be something wrong, or there appears to be something wrong. You might say that if you've got a meal and that's not what you ordered. There appears to be something wrong with my order. And has, has that happened to anyone? Has anyone ordered something and not gotten it right before? Yeah, always. Always, it always has. <laughs> from, from Amazon? Oh, really? Okay, well we're going to do some, so we're going to do some uh, role-playing scenarios and you can see how you would deal with Amazon. How about McDonald's when you go through the drive through and you open it up and it's like... <laughs> so you park your car, you go back inside, and you say, okay, we've all been there. Let's, how about some responses? You might be, have a job or be in a position where someone is complaining to you. So, of course, you're going to start with something nice to try to keep them happy and calm them down. All right? But the positive responses to complaints. Um, thank you for letting me know. I'll, I'll say that again. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you for letting me know. I'll get right on that. Oh, I'm extremely sorry. Oh, I'm extremely sorry. sorry. Or I'm very sorry. Is so many words, right? This one you've probably heard a lot. I'll look into it right away. So, I'll look into it right away. Okay. Now, and, and it's not just BS. And if you had a lesson on slang, you know what BS means. But it's not just an excuse, but sometimes someone really will perform those things. They want to help you. Let's go a little farther. It won't happen again. Yeah, that's what I say to my wife when she tells me. Does it happen again? But uh, maybe. But I say it. Uh, I can't tell you how sorry I am. It's pretty apologetic, that one. And I'm very sorry. I didn't realize. Very good. Now, negative responses, too. You might be in a position, or you might hear someone respond to your complaint, and they're going to say, there's nothing you can do about it. So, uh, this is what you would either hear or say, and let's do the first one, I'll read it first. I'm afraid there's not much we can do about it. I'm sorry, there's nothing we can do about it. And I'll tell you that from personal experience. There's something they can do about it. So you learn to complain right and you'll get something done. Okay? So look on the next page, on the behind. Here's an example of a, uh, of a dialogue. And I have some, uh, and you'll see that then the next page at the bottom there are groups and there are little pairs. I'm going to pair you up in a moment and have you perform these dialogues. Okay? So let's do an example. Um, let's see, who came in last? Then you get to help me with my example. If you would stand up, <laughs> and I've been looking for your name, is yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. So 
Um, I'm going to be the Time Warner cable guy. So you have a cable TV service, and there's something wrong, okay? So I'm, you're calling me, and I'm going to answer the phone, all right? So you're the customer, and you okay. read the customer one, all right? So ring, ring, phone ring. Uh, may I help you? I'm afraid I'm going to have to complain about your service. Uh, what seems to be the problem? Uh, I'm not receiving some of the channels I ordered. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'll look into that right away. And then the next thing would be he would ask for your number and your name and your information so they could do that. And hopefully it would go well like that and you would get a response. If they want to keep you as a customer, then they would help you that way. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, so the, uh, the guidelines for complaining is that you want to be polite and diplomatic, but you want to be strong. Don't be weak. Don't walk up and say, you know, be strong, but be polite, and people will respond. I found that personally in America. That's very important. Some cultures, people don't complain. Uh, Yuri, where are you from? Uh, uh, do people complain a lot in Japan? No. no. What if you get something that's not right? Do you complain? Um, maybe. <laughs> I don't like to complain. See, that's, it's a cultural <laughs> thing. So, so the cultural thing isn't just whether you complain or not, it's also how you complain. Uh, who's from another country where a complaint would be handled differently? Abdullah, when in, where are you from? I'm from Saudi Arabia. In Saudi Arabia, if you have a problem with a service or a restaurant or something, what's the procedure to complain? Go ahead. Go ahead. You get into a fight with them. <laughs> but when you get into a fight with them, does the complaint get resolved? No, but everybody gets beat up. And no, we have strong complaining. You have what? Yeah, strong complaining. Strong complaint. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's almost like maybe it turns into a negotiation. Exactly. Okay. So it's different in cultures. I think it goes into the fight. Well, it can happen here, but usually it's a verbal fight, and in verbally things don't happen. You've heard uh, uh, in a restaurant, if you complain the wrong way, mm. what might something happen to your food? Back in the back, when you're not looking. Oh, I dropped this on the floor. Oh, no. So be careful. So, so be diplomatic when, and polite, but also be firm. Okay. Um, in addition, as, as you were saying, pay attention to how you use your voice. If you noticed, my demonstrations, there was a, a feeling in my voice. Sometimes it was strong. Oh, I'm sorry to have to say this. You're going to use intonation, you're going to use emotion, both as a complainer and someone who's complaining back. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pair you into groups. Hopefully we have enough situations. I'm going to role play. And since people are sitting next to you, each other, Salim and Marve, look at number one. Look at the situation and read that, okay? And then I would like you to, someone be the complainer, which is the student, the other would be the teacher. And have, give me a little dialogue about what you would do in that situation, okay? Anouf and Talal, would you do number two? All right. Uh, who else do we have? Let's, uh, let's do, oh, we've got an odd person, okay? Not odd, thank you. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Yuri and Abdullah, uh, number three. Okay, carpool to school. And where are we now? Alex and Fahad. You do number four. And I already made you work, so you can watch. <laughs> You've already participated. All right. So what I would like you to do in your group: take a couple minutes, discuss uh, the situation with each other. And, and how you want to do it, who wants to be the complainer and who wants to be the responder. Because I'm going to have you stand up in front of the class and perform that dialogue. Okay? So talk to Kalau. Make sure you get your number. Your number one, two, three, and four. Okay? If you have any questions about the situation, just ask me and I'll tell you. Maybe you could write down a word or a key word that you might use in that complaint. It doesn't have to be long. You don't have to get a big resolution. Just that dialogue of it. 
complainer and responder. Okay. <laughs> which, number, which, which number was yours? Yeah, and that's important. Look at the words that you saw on the first page. Those phrases. I'm sorry to bother you. Thank you for letting me know. I'm afraid there isn't much to do. Look at the words on those pages and incorporate those. Use those in the dialogue. Okay? Well, if you're the complainer, you're, you're going to be that. If you're the one who's answering, you're going to use one of these. Either one. Whether it's positive or negative, you make the scenario. Uh, let's go one, two, three, four. Okay? Somebody complain, somebody respond, say something else, end the situation. Okay, I'll give you two more minutes. Yes, sir. Number four. Okay, you've been on. You've been, you were on a internet dating website. You know what that is? Like Match.com. Okay. And you're looking for a girlfriend. You found a wonderful person. But you're complaining to the website that the person's picture uh, didn't look like them at all. So, so you met it. He works for the website. And you're the guy. Okay. And you, you met someone. And then you said, you know what? When I met them, they didn't look anything at all like their picture. What kind of a website are you giving me the wrong information? So you're talking to the guy who he's customer service for Match.com. And you're a, you're a user of Match.com. It's a funny situation. But, uh, okay, so you work for Match.com. He's unhappy. Let's say yours for last. I'm going to say one. Okay. <laughs> Celine, Marve, are you guys ready? 30 seconds? All right, I'll give you 30 more seconds. Okay, all right, you've got a, you've got a, you've got a story, a scenario. Good. I think you're doing pretty good. Yeah, you don't mind sitting this out, do you? Yeah, yeah. You, 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 you read it. You read along, okay? I tell you what, I have a job for you. Okay, we're ready to go. We're ready to go with scenario number one. Everyone look ahead. Everyone ready, because we want to watch. Marve and Salim, come up front, please. You can stand, one person can sit and be the person receiving the complaint if that's your situation, or you can just stand up and talk. Oh, come up front. Up front, everybody. Yeah, yeah? I want you to read what they're going to do. So you simply have to read number one and explain this situation, and then they're going to act it out. So read for the class what it says in number one, what their situation is. Read it very loud.